I look at it as a, a res res responsibility within myself to only like be the best in my craft because we've seen leaders pay it for it. We've seen leaders like show us this. We've seen leaders tell us to believe in ourselves and push ourselves. Make it exist. How I'm gonna do it, how I'm gonna do it. Make it exist. Figure it out and make it exist. No more excuses. No more telling yourself that you doubt some shit. No more fears. No more questions. No more worries. No more complaining. Just make it exist. Simple and plain. Make, make it exist, make it exist, make it exist. No excuses, make it exist. I'ma do it, I'ma do it. Make it exist, figure it out and make it exist. No more excuses. No more telling yourself that you doubt some shit. No more fears, no more questions, no more worries, no more complaining. Just make it exist. Simple and plain. Did I or did I not make it exist? Ask yourself that, yo. And then, keep going. Do it again. Repeat it. Push yourself to iconic levels. Just be great, man. Like, don't ever, like, shortchange your ambitions. Never shortchange yourself. Never shortchange your work. If you believe a certain level or believe in a certain like place, you believe yourself or you hold yourself to a certain standard, never like never like shy away from that or like try to like push yourself down. Push yourself up. That's the only thing you should do is push yourself up. Don't do that. You have these ambitions. You have these motivations. You have these experiences for a reason. Let them take you to the furthest road. Let them take you to beyond your imagination. Let them take you to the highest level of your thinking pattern. Let them take you to like the happiest place you've ever wanted to be in. Like just like how you want this shit to be where you would be super happy in life. Push yourself to get to that point. Cause you're thinking about it like that for a reason. I mean that shit can happen. It can happen. So go. Try it. Live a life worth living. Like, live a life worth living, man. Fulfill it. Fulfill your ambitions, your desires. You control your own destiny. Manifest your blessings. Manifest your blessings. You know? Like, do it with a smile on your face. Like, don't forget, like, it's so, it, it's, it's so stressful even to just smile. So stressful even. Feels good. It's comfortable. Smile. Like, be happy. What's the purpose in being angry? What's the purpose in, like, being pessimistic? Having doubts. I'm using it to now, like, we're using our platform as creatives to have our own art show.
coming back. Cozy exhibits. You feel me? Like, it's going to be like this just super, like, ill experience like none other. And it's like, I'm not about to gas this shit up or nothing like that. It's just, it's a different, it's just, it's just a different conversation, you know? Where you get to view the art in a space, where you get to talk to the artist right there. And you also get to hear ill, like, sounds as far as music goes. You get to, like, connect with different ill people. You get to actually see the conversation. Like, it's ill photographers and there's ill things going on. And it's all that young, like, creative energy of, like, young, like, youthful, like, intelligent like leaders like doing this shit and putting it together you feel me like we got we first one's gonna be in la then we going to chicago then we gonna go to houston then we gonna go to atlanta we coming to all of these cities we gonna call by the time like year two three years we gonna be in every city just because it's like why block block off anybody that can use that, like, that, 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 that wave. Why shut down any door? You know what I'm saying? That, why not impact and, like, link up with other intelligent, like, creatives that's gonna help level these things up? Those moments again, man. Those, those moments with people, you know? So why, 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 why turn down any opportunities? We using these as, like, like, pedestals to, to meet different people, to link up, to, 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 to get a new conversation. We talking about art, bruh. We talking about art, bruh. We, we, we create art in all forms. I know artists. And when I say artists, I know photographers. I know, I know entrepreneurs. I know, I know fashion models. I know icons. I know leaders. I know people pushing masters. These are, to me, all of these is artists. So, all of it, all of it is about that, bro. All of it is about that creative process. And it, all of them is the same art form where we push it. It's all your art, it's all your canvas, it's all your tools, it's all your paintbrush. Mine just happen to be like the brush strokes and give you these words and the things like that. And I want to do it at the highest level possible. That's what it, that, that's what, that's what it really inspires and evokes is I want to do it at the highest level possible. It's like you see like, when you see a Kobe Bryant obsess over greatness and push himself to the highest limits, give 20 years to the game of basketball, give his all to it. Those things inspire me, man. Those things inspire me. Or to see a Floyd Mayweather be unblemished. Or to see Venus Williams take tennis to like the highest level of sports and competition and the, like greatness we have ever seen. Those things are true inspiration. Those are all different artists. Those are all artists performing at the highest levels. Those things are inspirations. So once again, I look at it as a, a res res responsibility within myself to only like be the best in my craft. Because we've seen leaders pay it for it. We've seen leaders like show us this. We've seen leaders tell us to believe in ourselves and push ourselves. I'm just a fruit like from that like that tree, you know? I just wanna just just be a part of that. Just accepting that, you feel me? Like really like okay and comfortable with that. It's okay to lead. It's okay to tell your friend that we can be great. It's okay that when when we as friends have conversations with one another and they got ambitions, it's okay to tell them their idea is sick, their idea is amazing, you're gonna be awesome. It's okay to tell them that. You feel me? It's okay to like boost them up and like make them like want to go get it it's okay to hold each other accountable it's okay to like make each other like we all can link up and do iconic shit that's that it's okay no need to block one to each other's blessings no need to no need to we should be smiling we should be living we should be pushing we should be being happy we should be inspiring we should be meeting new people we should be like Loving the ones that's been in our circle forever. Like, we should be doing these things all the time. We should be telling our loved ones, I love you. You know what I'm saying? We should be doing that. Like, every single day. Because it's just like, man, like... You, you, you can't take anything for granted. No need to... You can't, you can't take anything for granted. There's not a, 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 a time, like, you know, like, on a clock that can, that can either count down how much time you got left. So, if there's not a clock that can tell you these things, 
You have to go. You have to, you have to give your all every single day. You have to like fulfill and get something out of life. Feel what life is like. Experience. Do different things. Like be in things that's uncomfortable. Like you could be saying right now, like, man, I, I get what you're saying, but I, I don't know nothing about my heart. I'm gonna go to one of your shows. I don't know nothing about art. For real, you might say that, you know? I would love for you to come if you wouldn't know anything about art. That's what makes it even better. Pull me to the side and ask me a question. That's what makes it even better. I'm there for that. I'm here for that. And if you, eat, that's the thing, you don't need to know anything about art to know how you feel or how something makes you feel. It's a piece that's gonna speak to you. Don't worry about trying to understand or let it speak to you. It's gonna, I promise you something's gonna speak to you. I promise something's gonna make it a connection with you right here. I promise you. It's what I do it for. It's gotta evoke an emotion. It's a lot of passion within my work, man. It's a lot of passion and a lot of drive within like my crowd. I take it very serious and I love it. Like, I take it very serious. So it's gonna like give you feelings. Beyond the service level. See the masterful strokes. See the iconic wordplay. Because I'm gonna let my gifts flourish and shine on my canvas. I'm gonna believe at the highest level on my canvas. So you're gonna feel that. You're gonna feel it. It's like it instantly gives me that like that, that, that gratification. So I'm automatically going to give you these real, real, real emotions. Just naturally. Naturally. It's, it's, it's a duty, man. Excellence is the bare minimum. Like, that is, that is something that has stuck with me for a long time. Has to be that way. No need to ever, like, set the bar lower. Gotta raise, we always gotta raise our standards. We always gotta push ourselves. We always gotta believe, man. Art is just, like I said, been that outlet that I've been blessed to, to, to get and allow me to like own that mantra and, and the creative process, really. Because the creative process, the biggest thing is like has taught me is to, to you don't know anything you don't know anything. So every single day in your craft and in your process, you should be learning. You should be learning something. You should be getting yourself educated on something. Because there's so much in this world we do not know and have no clue about. And when you realize that, you realize, man, I got a lot to learn. Whole lot to learn. Whole lot to experience. Whole lot to see. A whole lot to listen to. Sometimes we got to stop talking and sometimes we got to start listening and see it, feel it, hear it, connect with it. I'm born and raised in Chicago. Born and raised. Uh, grew up on the south side, like the south side of the city. Like right off Stony, like I'm in the, I'm, I'm from the heart of it, for real. And uh, like for me, I wouldn't want to be from no other place. And uh, the thing it, it, it taught me a lot about was just everything. Like, it was my, it formed how I'm moving this world. Chicago taught me it all. Like, just seeing, just being able to see so much, so fast. At a young age, it kind of, it just, it just gave you a, a, a different perspective especially because I've, I've been living in different cities. And one thing I always say is I'm so glad I was from Chicago because just, just seeing certain things like it's just, just made you just realize like the way that life, like, like life is and things like that. And I mean, the thing I always just have a problem with is just like people be like, man, how'd you make it out? Or, all this, like all that bullshit because of what they see on the news and all that. Like the people that live there and the people and the young like like the young like guys and like 
They're not animals, bro. They're not savages. Stop making us like we like some like some like like we out here like bombing shit, like doing something like not. It's creatives there, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like people be talking all of that about all of the stuff that they be seeing on the news and shit like that. But do you see what like RSVP doing? Like just dying them, like what that boutique doing, bro? Or what like how Joe Fresh Goods is killing shit out there? We talking about that? We talking about leaders? They don't talk about that shit because like I tell them that that's what I grew up with. I'm trying to get fly, bro. Going downtown in the water town, going to the Ralph Lauren store. Go and learn about RSVP guys. Like, like what? We was talking about getting pissed off and hooping, bro. So, and I know a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of Chicago individuals is just like that. I know a bunch of Chicago individuals that still live there is just like that. So don't sit up here and tell me, like, my city is like this. Yeah, we tough. Yeah, we, 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 we firm. We damn sure ain't no savage. Why do you think all the greatest, like, Right now, all the greatest creators right now is coming out of Chicago. Look what Chance is doing. Look what Kanye has done. Look at what Virgil is doing with Off-White. Look at what Just Don is doing. We turning out creators. We turning out people that's like influencing. That's what we doing. And being from that and seeing that makes you like me so proud of my city and so proud to be from where I'm from. So proud to like know that I'm like to grow up for real for real in Chicago. And really like love to carry that shit. Like any city I've ever been in, I've never lost sight. I know exactly where I'm from. I know exactly where everything started. That's in Chicago, Illinois. Like that this shit started there. Everything that formed me and helped me become who I am today and who I'm going to continue to be was formed and embedded in me because of what Chicago has done for me. So many people in Chicago impacted my life, whether it was through sports with, with basketball or creatively or like fashion-wise in Chicago that I'm so grateful for. Different people have impacted me in so many ways. As me as a formative youth growing up, so seeing that shit just made me want to do the same thing and make me want to like, well, you from Chicago, definitely from Chicago. Definitely from Chicago. The art of your home is from an artist, a kid from the south side of Chicago. The art that's hanging up, that high level luxury art, the high level luxury art that you're getting in your home, that you're like showing proudly in your beautifully decorated home is the work from a kid from the south side of Chicago. That's like, that's everything, man. Man, so many doors we gonna knock down. Why? Because of the way we believe in ourselves, the way we carry ourselves, how we think, how we link up, how we collab, how we move, and like all of these things. Because of these are the things that Chicago is telling me. And like my friends and individuals that I like, like that I deal with on a day to day creatively, like we we all think that same way too. Because of it, like we all share that same because of that Chicago. We can't lose. We can't lose. We, we, you, you can't beat us. You can't stop us. No. We won't be stopping. When you, we make packs like that, man. We're not gonna be stopped. We're not gonna be stopped. Like, man, like, no matter what, though, like, we're gonna wear our shit proudly on our backs. And we gonna go. We gonna levitate. We gonna elevate. We gonna raise shit. We gonna inspire shit. We gonna open up doors. We gonna cut down time for the next young, like, youth and shit. Because they see us, we, we pushing walls down. That's the thing, like, we here to break barriers. We here to break barriers. We're not here to do something you've seen already. We're doing things that have never existed before. Facts. Like, never existed before. Nothing. Nothing. So, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a push, just once again, like, all of these things come from the mind, they come from self, they come from belief. 
if you if if if, if you believe in things, there's so many things that like can be accomplished. So many things can be done. Shout out to everybody that's pushing their craft. Like shout out to you if you like some way somehow you made some shit exist in this world that didn't exist yesterday. Shout out to you. Keep creating that shit. Keep making that kind of shit. Keep telling yourself your shit, G. For real, like, shout out to all, like, everybody that's breaking down barriers and challenging shit and not waiting for somebody to uh, push them, be pushing yourself. For real, salute. Because you be doing everything, anything else, but you pushing some shit, you inspiring somebody, you inspiring me. Wherever you are out there, like, I hope that I come across your work or your, your craft and shit. We share, like, some ill vibes and shit. Because, like, what you're doing, you're giving all to a craft the same way I'm doing the same. Like, believe in yourself. Believe in you. Believe in you first. Believe in you first so others can believe in you just as the same. Believe in yourself first. Cozy.